<laughs> Our next performer is absolutely incredible. I got a chance this week to sit in on one of his shows, which I get to do all the time. He's performing multiple times a week, every week in Toronto. The reason why we had to stall a little bit is because he had a show tonight. This guy is legitimately one of Toronto's busiest performers, and he's also absolutely fantastic. Please put your hands together for the fabulous James Allen. <laughs> going off today. You've, you've seen your fill of card tricks? <laughs> yeah, great. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, so what we will do instead is um, uh, I will cheat somebody out of their money. So if everyone in the audience will do this together sort of with me, take your right index finger, raise it up in the air, there, and just point to someone that you know that you would like to see cheated out of their money. Bonus points if you point to somebody who actually has a wallet in them. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Okay, now, wait, so the two of you seem to be going for the side. You've been up on stage already, I take it? I have not been on stage. You have not been on Do you have a wallet with you? I do have a wallet with you. Your name is? Benjamin. Benjamin, you will be perfect. Oh, Step into my office. <laughs> However, now, this is important. Is there anybody in this audience that you particularly trust? Keep in mind, the woman sitting beside you did single you out just for this <laughs> position of pure victimhood. Yeah, I'll go with this young lady in the front. Have you been up on stage tonight, young lady? You have. Pick again. <laughs> you've, been, you've seen the show I haven't. You have me at a disadvantage. But she does seem incredibly friendly and trustworthy, so she would have made a magnificent choice. Rows, yes, he has lights in his eyes. He'll get used to them in a moment. Uh, the lady on the left here. Your name is? Wendy. Wendy, this is perfect. I'll step into my office, please. And uh, Benjamin, yes? Yes. Excellent. Benjamin, I'm going to ask you some questions. I need you to be absolutely honest. First, have you ever been in the Navy? No, I have not been in the game. Most people haven't. Second, have you ever played this game? Um, I don't think so. Okay, so it is played with a single loop of chain that is perfectly welded, so it has no beginning and no end. It is over 400 years old. It shows up in the writings of Shakespeare. It's a precursor to both the uh, three-card Monty that you see played on the streets of New York and also rock, paper, scissors. Are you familiar? So the idea with rock, paper, scissors is not really about luck, it's about strategy and trying to stay one step ahead. Uh, you will be the eyes and the ears of the audience for this. You would call that shape? Like a bow tie. Like a bow tie. And you? Infinity. Infinity. Figure eight, all of the above work. I'm a math major, Joan is a math major. Now here's how this works. You have two choices. Take one finger. Yes. You can either place your finger on that side or on that side. Okay, hold on. If you place your finger on this side, and sorry, your name again? Wendy. Wendy. Your job is very, very important. You are neutral. You are Switzerland. Your job is to always pull the chain at the edge. Now, the chain is quite long, so you're going to be pulling for a little while, so just grab it and pull, and keep your finger pressed down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do have to pull a little faster than that. The chain is huge. We'll be here all night. Excellent. If it gets stuck on his finger, you win. I win. Okay. However, so that would mean like if you bet $20, you would double your money. You would now have 40. Oh, oh sorry. Your name is? Sarah. Sarah. I should be very, very clear about this. <coughs> In a moment, I'm going to give Benjamin a chance to play this game for money. You can let go. When that happens, it is a bad idea. He is going to lose his money. <laughs> It'll be your responsibility to talk him out of it. I've never been able to talk about anything. <laughs> You're doomed. Yeah. Okay, so that was what a win looked like. A lose looks different. So if you place your finger on that side and you pull the chain at the edge, you're always doing the same thing, but they trust you and not me. 
Oh, perfect. So if it comes loose, you lose. Very, very simple. And it is, of course, possible that the side that wins be on that side. And that's all there is to it. So it's rock, paper, scissors. I am one step ahead of you. And that's how this works. So raise your finger. We already know he's right-handed. Let me just subtly make one of these sides a little bit bigger and more appealing to you. Press it down whenever you're ready. Ah, I don't know if this is reverse psychology or reverse reverse psychology. Wendy, pull the chain now. Perfect. Yeah, except I play this a lot. And it's only 50-50. Now, you were here. I was over on that side. Yeah. Uh, so from our perspective up here on this stage, the second one is more difficult. Because you're not deciding, and this is backwards because we're facing the other way, it's not deciding do I go right or do I go left. It's do I stay the same or do I change? Same. You're scared of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is a fundamentally different decision. Also, this losing, this is like putting your hand on a hot stove. Negative yeah. reinforcement. You don't want to do that again. Same. You stay out of this. <laughs> I'm going to trust you on this one, Taylor. Right, you got it. You got it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. It's the same side. It's interesting because 97% of people stay on the same side. I trust you. I trust you. All right, one last time. We'll see if he's going to learn from his mistakes. You're going to switch this. going to learn from your mistakes. Good. Yes, if it comes loose, you lose. Oh, now, there is that. one problem with this trick. Um, women. No. I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean whatever the decision-making process is, it is fundamentally different and cannot be predicted in the same way. So who has been the person who's been giving you this advice this whole time? You said it was uh, Taylor? No. Who is Taylor? Not because I thought the loose side was the winning side. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. No, no, no. You're, re no, no, you're the perfect kind of person no. to play this game. Come here. Your friends are not going to clap for you. They're too busy reaching for their cell phones. So come sit right here. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. Hold up finger. So just to recap, he lost over here, he lost over here, he tried to learn from his mistakes, he tried to lose over there. You We're caught up. Stuck, right? You want to get it stuck. I'm so sorry. So, right, hold your finger. No, it's all right. This, this, this is how you become a magician. Bad life choices. <laughs> that laugh was a little too sincere. I only have seven and a half minutes. Pick a bloody side. <laughs> Ah, okay, pull the chain. One on the edge, yeah. Wait, what? Oh. oh. You hold your horses for a second. This is my reputation on the line. We're doing this again. Figure eight. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this again. Finger, go. But hold on, hold on. If you wanted to, you could switch to the other side. <laughs> okay. I will let you. You could be lying awake in bed at 3 o'clock in the morning, staring at the ceiling, wondering what would happen if you switched to the other side. I really want. That level of uncertainty doesn't bother you. No. You cannot be fucked with. No. Pull the chain. Because I've been drinking a lot. Yeah. This is why women are a problem. Yeah! Denomination bill in your wallet. Twenty. Take it out. Uh, <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Great. Uh, sorry, I just came from a magic show. Uh, are you okay with um, solid silver? Okay. Uh, Eighteen thirty-five. About forty bucks a piece, give or take. Oh, I'm going to have to watch out for someone in the parking lot. All right. <laughs> so, um, hold your finger. Come stand a little bit closer. All right. 
Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Just go. All right. Okay, now hold on. Hold on. You have options in this moment. You can leave your finger where it is and lose. Yes. If you want, you can switch to the other side and win. It is also possible that you switch and go to the other side and lose. It is possible that there is something up with this game. <laughs> no, because like rock, paper, scissors, every time you play, it resets. You never get to see what it would be like if you had gone the other side, like quantum uncertainty, you never get the counterfactual. So it is possible no matter where your finger is, you are guaranteed to lose. Okay. Even though she beat me twice. Uh, oh, it's also, you can ask her for advice. Just keep in mind, just keep in mind. She's also sitting on the wrong side and this is set for you. Uh, but so if, if you're comfortable there, we're okay there. Is that? Or, no, sorry, but if you think there's something like sort of crooked or sneaky about this, you could lift your finger and take your money back. Be a responsible adult, a role model for all of these young people. Do I take my money back? It's your retirement. Oh my god! Oh my god! I think that was trying to talk you out of it. You're committed to this? So you're saying it's my decision. So you want me to do it, but you know I never listen to you. So I should wow. lift. <laughs> All right, I have to about this for a second. It won't be fun. All right, yeah, we're going. We're going for it. If you won't bet his money, I will. All right. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, I'm, I'm safe either way. Uh, so we'll take that back. You can uh, pull the uh, chain. Cool. Thank you very much. Please give him a round of applause. You can go back to your seats. So, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Because, uh, uh, Benjamin, um, uh, uh, we gotta sit down because they can't see behind you. You're, 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 you're too tall. Uh, you, you make, a, you, you make a, a very handsome door with a lousy window. Um, there is something about the trick that you did not consider. What is it? That it might have something to do with the way the chain is pulled. But she you didn't think it. you didn't think to ask that. I did not think to ask that. You're right. Because I wasn't pulling the chain. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Which means that is for you. Ooh. And under no circumstances is Benjamin allowed to have that back. <laughs> uh, there is, however, a very cute boy in a leather jacket after the show who's going to come with a hat for collection, so that might uh, find a good place there. Please give him a round of applause. Thank you very much. <laughs> I told you I was going to cheat him out of his money. If I were any more honest about this, he would be cheating me. Thank you so much for squeezing me in. I give you back your charming and lovely host for the evening, Mr. Jonah Evans. Yeah!